How you doing, folks? Today is old crazy Sunday here. Talk about this uh, Honeywell here customer brought by. It's an inverter. It's a 1650 watt. And uh, anybody knows that Honeywell has made uh, Chinese parts from uh, through Generac. And there's a lot of these on the internet uh, that just stopped working. It came in to me, um, needed a carb tune on it. He wanted a couple little additions and stuff, uh, add-ons about this unit. Uh, anybody seen these like this? Uh, this lighting is extra. I put this on there for him. He wanted an extra light. Uh, so when he's out camping, it's like a big fucking flashlight, folks. You just carry this thing around the woods. Uh, you get your light. Or, you know, if you're working around a camp area or, you know, wrenching on a tractor out in the field that's broke down. Uh, so basically what I did here, folks, is this is just a tractor, tractor light, 35 water. <clears throat> I just drilled a couple holes back here, and I tied it in up here in the main panel, panel board, and I just brought it down through here in the, in through the uh, engine compartment. Just use a uh, number 14 wire. I got it coming in through here. You can access that back here by uh, taking out through the screws on the exhaust side. This cover just comes out. It's uh, pretty simple. They sell them online, these kits, and uh, why pay the money for them when you could do them yourself. Uh, and another thing this thing's also had is a no power issue, which I've resolved that issue, folks, at least on this problem right here. I'm going to get that cover off right now. <clears throat> so, what's going on here is this thing would fire up. Apparently, Generac has a lot of problems with these damn things. Uh, you got to split the case, which is real simple. A couple screws, there's a tab underneath here. Uh, you split this fucking thing, and it's just a pile of shit laying on the floor. Uh, but there is uh, paperwork online on how do you strip that. Uh, other than that, this thing's pretty good. I think he's wanting to put a USB. Uh, it hasn't come in from Amazon. It's like three bucks on Amazon. It's just got a pigtail on it. It's a uh, female USB so you can uh, I'll probably tie it in around here somewhere or maybe we'll mount it up into this here kind of on the space with there uh, I think you charge your cell phones and shit off it but there is 12 volt port there uh, that you can uh, charge your battery with these units it just plugs in right here like this and then you can just put them right on the batteries charge your battery uh, if you ever wanted to, I guess, if you get stalled out and shit like that. But, uh, so what's going on here, folks? I'll explain this thing here. These things, you got low oil, over light load, and then a ready light. So, the inverter board on here is basically a board with a heat sink on it with a breadboard that's full of fucking uh, resin. So there's no fucking digging through there and find cold solder joints. Uh, it's pretty much non-repairable. Genrac makes these to basically you pay 800 bucks for the fucker, it stops working, you find the nearest fucking garbage can, or you throw it out of your pickup truck when you're driving down the road at 70. So, what I have done here is uh, I've done a little overriding here. This board right here is called the LED board. If you go to look at buying it, you gotta buy this whole panel here. I think it's 300 bucks from Genrac, and you hope you get a good one because it's all fucking resin filled. And back and behind here, once you take this cover off, is the inverter board. Uh, all the tests online show right here, I don't know if you can see it, but you don't need to split this thing. You can take this cover, you can take the air filter cover off, and you can pull this pin out here. This, this pin right here, and you can uh, do the testing. It shows it right online on testing to see if your stator's bad or that's bad. It seems like everybody's kind of got a little hit and miss deal issue. Uh, basically, what they're doing, Generac or Honeywell is no longer available. They're, they're you know, because it's made with Generac parts from China. I don't know, but just stay with the Honda. You know, if you're looking to buy one, stay with the Honda. Pay the extra money. The Japs know how to build shit. You know, this is supposed to be 100% simulated rig here, uh, but people have had the past say that. Uh, they buy it brand new, they fire it up, uh, and then when they go to need it during a fucking emergency, because that's why people buy these fucking things, uh, they, they don't get no fucking power out of this unit. So, with further ado, 
Yeah, and the pole rope's fucking junk, too. I had to use paracord on that fucker earlier. Ripped the motherfucker in two and shit. They got it going uh, next to the hose, uh, and there's a spring there, anti-rub. I just rub right through the fucking line. So, when this thing fires up, normally you'll get a red overload light here. That overload light will come on, but I've got a couple wires bypassing the overload light. And uh, it's basically, I'm tricking the PCM board in this thing to saying it does have power and it is available. So that green light will come on, but the, but the overload light will always stay on. It's just kind of the nature of the beast. Uh, if I disconnect the red light, we lose power. Uh, the thing will shut down. So I think somewhere in that circuitry, uh, they got it pretty much dummy proof, just like the low oil light. As soon as you tilt it up, the fucker stalls. You know, uh, it'll come up and light on. So, yeah, other than that, this thing's a lot louder too in the Honda, folks. If you guys own one of these things, you almost got to have fucking ear plugs, I think. Fire that thing up. Green light needs to go. The overload light will come on. Just gotta give it a few. And I got a light here. Turn that light on like that. See how bright that thing is, folks? Got a little light there. That's so you can uh, use it at night. So basically, we got that there. The high idle will work. It'll come up on our channel, just like it's supposed to. So, this thing's a beaut here. You may want to sell this thing, I don't know. But, uh, we got an air compressor here, folks. We're going to plug this thing in. Plug her in. seen primers on any generators like this but it, it does work folks uh, brought her out of the grave it was gonna go in the junk but uh, got her going that's all I can say about it folks if you need any in information on it drop me a text message on the old youtuber I'll, I'll get this uploaded for people uh, and these parts are real cheap it's just stuff I had laying around switch and stuff and uh Basically, all I did is if you take these front screws off right here, I'm not going to take this off. This thing's fucking been abused. Um, take it off. And here's your 12 volt with your uh, 12 volt circuit breaker. And once you take this back off, you'll be able to see the two wires coming out of that plug for the 12 volt. You can be on either side if you want. You can be on this side or you can be on the uh, opposite side of the circuit breaker. I put mine on the circuit breaker side. So, if something happens here, it'll trip out the overload right here, and you can just do it. Uh, and with the switch, it's just simple, folks. Just You just need like two foot of wire. Quick connect it into here, break, draw the wire up through here. I got, I got on the red side on this switch. I'm basically cutting the hot side of, this, of the light on this. You could do grounding if you want, but I do the hot side. Uh, and then just put, you know, connect one side of the red wire on the light on one side of the switch and then the main power coming in from the circuit breaker on the other side of the switch and then the ground is just connected hard wire from there all the way back up to the front on this unit and this is a 2011 folks uh this is a build 2011 build date and it does have the uh it's a 639925c uh 
serial number on it, so it is the late build on it, but for some reason the Chinaman has not got to figure out how, how to make a better uh, inverter board on these motherfuckers. Uh, till then, uh, it's ready to rock, folks. Call him, ring for it, pick it up, do a little clean up there, charge him a couple hundred bucks, and then uh, we're on the way to go, folks. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.